first pipe won't go, the, the, the mesh, all building are only that, when jet won't go. We will explore all options we were thinking from coming from behind, but there was absolutely no way we would come. Those who are touched, then I don't know what would have happened. So it would have been simply uncontrollable. Yeah. What a baby. Just visited uh, the site of the fire incident that took place in uh, uh, this bazaar. 48 hours back and uh, it is a very uh, tragic and a very unfortunate uh, incident and an accident that took place and uh, we do express our sympathies and our concerns uh, to the families that were uh, affected by the fire and the accident that took place. Uh, I would uh, like to mention that uh, this had a very, very big potential to be a very uh, disastrous situation uh, because this was uh, in the middle of the market area, a very congested area and a very difficult area uh, for the fire services and other services to come in and, uh, uh, and do their uh, work. But in spite of the challenges, the different departments, especially the fire service, the Army, the Air Force, uh, the Assam Rifles, the BSF, and uh, the community and all the other uh, officials uh, from different departments had uh, come in and uh, really worked very hard. If you can see behind me, the buildings are very close and uh, even behind the buildings there were uh, other small residential areas. Uh, but uh, in spite of these challenges, the department and the officials were able to contain and the fire did not spread beyond uh, this particular building and that it's in itself is uh, something that uh, I must uh, thank and appreciate the work that has been done by the officials from, as I said, uh, the departments, the fire service, the police, the administration and um, NDRF, SDRF and uh, of course the armed forces and uh, a special mention to the armed forces who really supported us. Uh, in this very, very uh, difficult and complicated situation. Uh, and the community was also very supportive of us. Uh, at the same time, uh, this is also, of course, a situation where uh, a detailed investigation will be done and we will go into details of the reasons why this has happened. And, of course, we will also go into uh, issues of uh, how to make sure that these kind of complicated situations are uh, avoided and uh, can be stopped in the future and also to measures on which how we how we could improve the overall uh, service and the response that we will give uh, though the response here was very swift uh, we still have a challenge the, the building uh, was also in a way a go down and uh, hence it has got a lot of materials inside the furnitures or other kind of plastic materials and therefore those kind of materials also inside led to the challenges and as I said, in spite of all those challenges, uh, the fire did not spread to other buildings and that was in itself a great achievement. Uh, and uh, But as I said, uh, we need to go into details and find out uh, what has happened, how it happened and uh, what measures to take in the future uh, to ensure that uh, not just in Shillong but in any other part of the state, uh, you know, we avoid these kind of situations, safety audits and other audits will need to be done. Uh, all of these will be examined. We are having a cabinet meeting on the 18th and a detailed discussion will happen on that day. Thank you very much.